to set their position as my permanent WCS, I will create a new file from here. Menu, file, new. And name it final. And press OK. You will observe that now we have two part files. First one is final, which we have just created, and the other one is model one. This is the file that we are currently working on. Now I'll go to our previous file. I will choose export part. Here I will select existing part file and specify the part. I will select final part file that I have just created. Select and press OK. Now in class selection, I will select all of the data here except the WCS. And from the other side, this STL file also. I will come back and press OK. I want to remove all the parameters because I want to work in a new file. So I'll take on remove parameters and press OK. If I go to the final dot part, I will see that a WCS here is automatically formed. Now you can delete the WCS by selecting it and pressing delete. And if you press the W button, you will see the absolute or the permanent WCS appears. Now if I go to the other side, pressing Ctrl Shift B, I can also see that my scanning is also here. Now if I bring it back using the hide command, Ctrl plus B. and choose any orthographic view I can see that my STL file is fully aligned and my WCS at the center not temporary but permanent for the idea you can see that my WCS is lying at the center of this circle press ctrl plus s to save this progress Now just for the reminder, I need to tell you that we don't have to use this command anymore. Set view to WCS because our WCS is now permanent, not temporary. So it means we can use the default options present in the modeling environment to view the object from any view. For example, in top, Ctrl Alt T will give you the top view. I will now select extrude command and choose the line that I have previously made that I have formed the rectangle and see it from the front view. Now I will give it some draft. Now my main aim here is to match the extruded body with the boss of this box that is I am trying to match this which is my extruded body with the wall of the box which is this one blue one now I will start inputting the value say minus 1.85 and zoom it and observe if it needs any more improvement. Here it seems fine. Here also it seems fine. Now the more you zoom, the more precise you have to be. So I will press OK and see the result in different view. Now as I can see, The bottom is matching here, this side and this side. On the fourth side, it is also matching. 
I can still adjust it to get the more desirable output. Let's see. If I double click on this, I will get the previous command. Now if I do it minus 2 and see the result from the outside, I observe that it is matching here, here also, similarly here and here also. That means my parameters are okay. So I will double click on my body and adjust its height. I want to go somewhere up to this level. But for the sake of simplicity, for now, I will keep it a little bit more. Suppose here. Let's see how. Like this. Press OK. Now I will use other command that is offset face available here. Menu Insert Offset Offset face Select this face Take the preview This is my vector which should point the other side That means I will reverse the side And start inputting the value and press enter 1 Yes, it is matching at 1 or you may also see 0 0.9 0 0.9 seems much better so we will choose 0 0.9 press ok and at the sides I will now apply edge blend using this command set all the edges and input the value 28, 29, I think 29 will do, press ok, we want a little bit more, 30, yes, as you can see, 30 radius is matching perfectly, that means we can keep this setting. We will model this box in three simple steps. Let me show you. The first step would be to make this mid area portion. The second should be this one, this bottom one, and the third would be at the top, that is this one, number three. We are done with the first step that is this one. Now we will proceed forward for the second step that is we will now model the base of this box.